So I used to do a lot of things simply in order to be comfortable with my thoughts, my emotions, sensations, my experiences. Two of those things specifically were sport and music. And especially when anger would come up in my experience, I would either go and play the drums really loud or I'd go for a really long run. And the only thing that really happened through those two practices was that I got pretty good at drums <laughs> and I got pretty fit. <laughs> Yet anger still arose in my experience. So that practice of indulging, using things to do in order to feel comfortable with myself, it worked maybe temporarily, but it wasn't complete relief, permanent satisfaction, fulfillment, and just complete comfortability within my skin. So when I met the Balance View training and I was empowered to let everything be as it is, that was quite radical. It is quite radical because we're not used to doing that. We're used to doing things in order to feel comfortable as, as we are. And here we're just empowered in a way that probably never before have we been able to see ourselves in a way that we're perfect as we are and there's nothing that we need to do to feel any better, to be more. As we are is perfect. Nothing is needed. So sure, we can enjoy the juggling, the cooking, the making love, the fitness, the health, the music, but no more do I see in my experience do I need to do those things to feel comfortable as I am. Through relying on open intelligence and allowing all thoughts, emotions, sensations and experiences to be as they are, I'm tapping into a stability, an alertness, an openness, something that's just comfortable as it is, regardless of the data streams. And when I share about open intelligence, we can all introduce ourselves to that right now. Simply stop thinking. What remains? And what we see is that what remains is this stability, this comfortability as you are. And then we can welcome all the flurry of thoughts and emotions and sensations. And in Balanced View, we just call these data streams to keep, them very, to keep it very simple. Data, open intelligence. So we welcome all data back into our experience. And what we come to see through the simple practice of short moments of open intelligence repeated many times is that open intelligence becomes continuous. So we can allow everything to be as it is. And simply by taking short moments and recognizing that open intelligence is available to us when we're not thinking and when we are thinking. So we can encounter every data stream every thought, every emotion, every sensation. Because data and open intelligence are inseparable, like the sky and the color blue. And we empower this recognition by taking short moments. So when anger does come up, we don't need to run anywhere, we don't need to do anything. We can simply take short moments and see for ourselves how we can just comfortably show up to all relationships with others and most importantly with ourselves. No longer do we need to react or be a victim to data, especially anger. We can simply take responsibility. We can take short moments, empower the situation, empower the anger. I know for myself that Relationships with family often pressed my buttons and it used, used to press anger a lot. And I was very reactive to that. And so many relationships collapsed. Family in my intimate relationship as well. In the past, when my buttons were pushed, I would react. And sometimes I could react, react with disrespectful speech. 
or body language. And that didn't empower myself and it definitely didn't empower anyone else. And so when I participated in the 12 empowerments, the fundamental training of balanced view, I got to see very clearly, I got to examine how anger and emphasizing anger led to disharmony within relationships. I felt very brave to participate in the 12 empowerments and to share myself in a, from the vantage of open intelligence, inseparable from data, allowing myself to share all the anger, all the emotions, sensations and experiences that I've avoided. But through the empowerments, through the 12 empowerments, I was able to examine how I'd emphasize these data streams and how they'd played out in my relationships. And so having a comprehensive support structure of the four mainstays just empowered me to see after completing the 12 empowerments that open intelligence is always on. And we've got a great support network to just empower this recognition ongoingly. The four mainstays are here inexhaustibly, indestructibly, and it's just up to us to take up the invitation to use them. So I did the one day training, I did a four day training, and then I participated in the 12 empowerments. And instead of leaving it there, I just kept on showing up, allowing myself to open further to the relationship with a trainer, which you can request after the 12 empowerments, to continue showing up to trainings and the online media. And just seeing that no matter what I'm experiencing, I can encounter everything. I can face everything fully and I don't need to grab at any antidote. And we have an amazing community, an amazing community that is all just demonstrating exaltation, empowerment, support, and just showing up as they are. So the practice of short moments is the first mainstay. The trainer is the second mainstay. The third mainstay is the training media and all the trainings that we can participate in. And the four ma fourth mainstay is the community. This is an algorithm, meaning that if applied, each one of these mainstays leads to the guaranteed result of ongoing open intelligence, continuous open intelligence. You can be as angry as you like. Nothing has to change. And through using the support of the Four Mainstays, this has just become my experience. I still have so much anger come up in relationships within myself. Angry for not doing this and not doing that and not saying this correctly. I had such high expectations for myself and I could never reach those expectations. So I just became angry disillusioned at times and perpet perpetuating those stories just led to disease and confusion and tension and in a single short moment of just allowing the anger to be as it is I've just found that I can navigate through life in a far more empowered way I can show up to relationships ang angry and hateful and just share my love and gratitude, show up in service in a way like never before. If I was angry, I'd go to my room, I'd go play drums, I'd go for a run. I just don't need to do that anymore. I don't need to, I don't need to go anywhere. I can face everything fully. And so the education in the nature of mind, the four mainstays, it just evokes the instinctive recognition of open intelligence. So we don't need to think about it, whether our practice is right or wrong. We just show up. We take short moments, whether we understand what that is or we don't. Whether we have an idea of what it looks like or not. Whether we have an expectation of what the results should be if I take a short moment. Right there is a great opportunity to take a short moment. Allow that to be as it is. Allow the confusion of not knowing what a short moment is, be as it is. And rely on that stability, that ground of being that is pure, ready for action. Ready to perceive the next thought. 
We come to see that data streams just self-release in open intelligence, like the flight path of a bird in the sky. So we don't need to grab onto any data stream. We can simply allow them to come, abide for a little while and leave. The positive, the negative and the neutral. There are no special data streams. Each data stream points us back to open intelligence and that reality. And the power of just testing it out when it becomes really afflictive is where you get to see it working. Where skillful means just demonstrate themselves in a way that's beyond the intellect and thinking about. We just show up as open intelligence, whether that means we speak or not. Displaying the qualities and the activities of open intelligence aligned with the benefit of all just allows us to show up in all relationships, comfortable, easeful, grateful, and empowered. We don't need to have the right thoughts to have empowered relationships. We don't need to have the right circumstances to be fully alive with beneficial potency because we come to see that Data are the beneficial potency of open intelligence. And short moments is our access code to tapping into that intelligence. And so the four mainstays are just totally available to just empower this recognition. Without it, I know for me, it would have just been this intellectual cool concept that I could apply here and there. But this is my lived reality now. Before I met the training, and now four and a half years after meeting the training, the data is more wild than ever. There was this slight expectation that I wouldn't have such wild data streams, such angry data streams still. But it's not about avoiding and indulging and replacing data. It's simply allowing them to be as they are. And through the power of short moments and repeating that many times, open intelligence becomes continuous. And these data are just light signals. Open intelligence, all pervasive, all encompassing and totally beneficial. So now when I relate with my family and my partner, I'm just amazed at how I can just love them unconditionally. It brings me to tears. Because it's such a distinct change in these relationships. I really see the benefit of, of the four mainstays in action when I'm with family, with my partner, with myself. Ultimately, that's where we want to get to know open intelligence. Where we want to get to know that all data are inseparable from open intelligence. We've been granted, given a solution to how we live our life. And we've been gifted a support structure to bring this to life in all moments, in all relationships. With our strengths, gifts and talents. And it just gets better. I always, everyone used to say it just gets better. And I was like, does it really get better? It really gets better. So check it out. Thank you.